back. My guests today are here to find out what naughty little secrets their lovers have been keeping from them. Okay, please meet Lenny. He says that his late night hours at work have been taking its toll on his relationship, and now he's run out of change. How you doing, Jerry? I'm uh, fine. <laughs> you know, uh, I've been driving that Hershey Highway home from work every night. <laughs> and I got a beautiful girlfriend. I want to propose to her tonight. I'm scared it's gonna. Uh, she's not gonna be too happy about those drives. Let what's me see if I can explain this. <laughs> What you're saying, um, as I understand it, is that uh, you have a girlfriend. How long have you been with your girlfriend? Four years. We got a beautiful baby together. You have a baby together? Yeah, she's a beautiful, she's a beautiful sweet girl. I love her to death. But I've been having some uh, extracurricular activities at work that she and don't that's... know about. And that's with a man? Yeah, with a man. <laughs> well, you know, I've, I've, always had this, I've always had this thing for... I've always had this thing for Elvis Presley, and this guy looks like Elvis Presley, and I... <laughs> I don't live by that highway. <laughs> Driving home. What? Gee, oh. you, have, you have a girlfriend, you have a baby. Why would you do that to your girlfriend? I wasn't, I wasn't meaning to do anything to my, to my girlfriend, Jerry. I got no rings on my fingers yet. We're not married yet, so. I see. And I do love her to death. And this is just yeah. sex. This isn't love or anything like that. It's just sex. It's just sex. Yeah. Okay, well, you explain that to her. Here's your girlfriend, Laisha. Hi, Laisha. Welcome to the show. Hi, Jerry. Uh, you guys have been together four years? Yes. You have a child together? Yes, we have a beautiful daughter together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. What did you like most about him? That he's I just love nice him. and conservative he's, he's and great. Calm. He treats me yeah. really gr wonderful. And did and he have he, all those tattoos when you met him? Yes. Yes. Yeah. He works a lot. I wish I could spend more time with him. <laughs> we only get to like. I wish I spend more time with you too, honey. We only get to like spend the morning together. He tattoos like all day and it's like late hours but... oh you work at a tattoo parlor yeah i'm a tattoo artist jerry i see okay well honey you know i boy you hit a yeah for one so thing because <laughs> i knew you brought me here to tell me something so what's up baby i, I love you honey more than anything in the world and i, I want you to marry me sweetheart oh <laughs> <laughs> this hair <laughs> what? of course i'll marry you honey i love you sweetie <laughs> There has been some stuff going on with the late nights at work, honey. And um, we made a tape to kind of trying to explain it to you, honey. We? Yeah. Oh. You're going to show the tape? Did you show the tape, Jerry? Yeah, let's roll this tape. I know all these late hours have been working been really hard on you, honey, and you've been really cool about it. And, uh, you know, you're my girl, and I love you to death, honey. And it's time I get straight with you, I think. Uh, you know, I've been training, training a new guy. You know Mike, right, honey? Well, honey, me and Mike are doing more than training, and I want to be the best man at our wedding because he's my best man right now, baby. How, how could you do this? It's just, it's just sex, honey. Okay. It's, it's Mike, honey, he's our, he's our friend. I guess he's more than a friend to you. God, baby, this, this is crazy. This is just... An, it doesn't change any way I feel about you at all, honey. I, well, I do well, love you to death. I, I love you too, still, baby. It doesn't still, change baby, any way I feel is, about her. You, I mean, you're, you're gay? I mean... No, I'm not, you know I'm not gay, honey. <laughs> well, obviously. I'm, I'm not in love with a man. I'm in love with you. <laughs> I know. It's just sex. We shouldn't I met, lie I'm, to me. I'll never touch anybody again, honey. You what? I'll never touch anybody again when we get married, honey. Yeah. Well, here, here, here's... I'm going to make it all right. It's not, it's, not like it's, a, it's not like I'm cheating with a girl or anything. It doesn't matter. I don't go. I don't go have sex with girls without you. That would be wrong. I what do you know. Mean? I don't do that. I, I give him. Wait, I we may be getting some information here. Hold on. Behind his back. You go. No matter if it's a guy. Same thing, honey. You know. Let's bring him out. Here's Mike. Looking guys, he's a stud. Come on. Oh my God, you guys are. You guys, How you doing, this Alicia? Is, this is Mike. Oh my God, what? This is crazy. I don't know. I don't. I'm like speechless. I don't know.
know what to do. Speechless, I don't know what to do. I think she means jealous, Jerry. I think that's what she means. Well, is my man a little bit jealous? Yeah, he's spending time with you and, and nights with you when he should be home with me. Hey, he could take me home to both of you. Whatever. You know? Uh, whatever. Yeah, after all those lies and I mean, everything, has lied to me this whole time about it. It's just sex, though, this whole, you know? He's going to get the, he's going to get out is what's going to happen. Okay. He's going. Are you going to Are you going to give up playing with him to be with her? If she's marrying me, yes, of course. That's it. We got that. I want to know if Laverne and Shirley are jealous of Lady and Squiggy. Hi, Jerry. I was worrying to all the people that are on this panel, you guys have kids, and you're screwing around with anything and anybody. What are you going to tell your kids when they get older? Oh, it's okay to screw I'm with not, this and no, screw I, with I, that. No, 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 no. That is not right because the parents, because the parents are doing it. I have a kid, and I would never, ever do something that you guys are doing. That is so wrong. One at a time. Tell your kids what you do in your bed. Yeah, but I'm not you sleeping around with you this in? guy sit and this sit woman. Sit I stay with sit one. You're going to tell your kids. Sit you're going to tell your kids to be afraid right of their sexuality right and to you. keep it all bottled up. You're a dad job. Anyone else want to answer her? <laughs> why am I going to be telling my kids? Why am I going to be telling my kids what I'm doing in the bedroom anyway? Because it's on the TV screen. You take it. I had a question, I had a question for this guy, Mike, here. I've never done that. Would I be giving her details? That's sick. I had a question for this guy, Mike, here. What happens when Lenny uh, gets married and you guys stop bopping and you're going to lose your job in the tattoo parlor? What happens? You're going to have to get a job, like, in a kitchen as a dishwasher or something. Hey, I can handle dishwasher because you know what I'll do? I'll find me the head cook and I'll be bopping him, too, man. It's no big thing, you know? It's no big thing. I'm always down to ride the Hershey Highway. I drive fast, baby. <laughs> 55, stay alive. All right. Mike and Lenny, if they got a single white or a double white trailer. That's, uh, that's pretty funny, John Denver. I want to know. Uh, I don't know if you paid for that haircut, John Denver.